G'day viewers, Retro Man here and welcome to The 80 Show. For those of you who took the time to watch part one of my Matthew Perry tribute, I thank you. Matthew's untimely death was a shock to many and he will be sadly missed. Now in this episode I would like to continue my tribute by taking a look at every Matthew Perry TV and film appearance in the 90s before he starred in Friends. The early 90s was an extremely fertile period for Matthew and you could just sense that he was on the verge of stardom. In 1990, Matthew scored a lead role opposite Valerie Bertinelli in the TV sitcom Sydney. In this short-lived series, Matthew starred as Valerie's overprotective brother for 13 episodes. Also in 1990, Matthew made a guest spot as Ben Dawson in the TV sitcom Who's the Boss? This season 7 episode was titled Roomies. Next for Matthew was a challenging role as Desi Arnaz Jr. in the 1990 TV movie Call Me Anna, which was a biographical account of actress Patty Duke. In 1991, Matthew scored a memorable one-episode appearance in the popular TV series Beverly Hills 90210. His role as an affluent yet suicidal high school student Roger Azarian proved that Matthew was a versatile actor who could tackle complicated roles. The episode was titled April is the Cruelest Month and appeared in the debut season of the series. The following year, Matthew had a small role as Alex Farmer in a season three episode of the TV sitcom Dream On, titled To The Moon, Alex. In 1993, Matthew's career really kicked into gear when he was cast in the lead role of a 13 episode sitcom titled Home Free. In this hilarious series, Matthew plays Matt Bailey, a lazy freelance journalist who avoids responsibility but has to step up and take charge as a young adult when his recently divorced sister moves into the family home with her two young kids. Also in 1993, Matthew starred alongside Robert Urich and Gwyneth Paltrow in the TV movie Deadly Relations. In this chilling crime thriller that was based on a true story, Perry plays the small but memorable role of George Westerfield, Robert Urich's son-in-law who meets an untimely end. According to Gwyneth Paltrow, she got to know Matthew Perry quite well during the shoot and described their time together as a magical summer fling. In 1994, just before Friends launched Matthew Perry as a household name, he appeared in two TV movies and an independent film. Matthew found himself in the ensemble cast of the TV movie Parallel Lives, which was headlined by James Belushi and Dudley Moore. The other TV movie was a futuristic tale about baggage handlers in an airport called LAX 2194. As it turned out, LAX 2194 was originally a pilot for a failed TV series. In fact, Matthew was pulled from LAX 2194 to star in Friends. As it goes, a Warner Brothers executive was actually at a taping for LAX 2194 and thought that the show was terrible and was never going to work, but quickly realised that Matthew would be a great casting choice for Friends. In the end, Matthew was released from LAX AX 2194 and as they say the rest is history. Finally just before Friends debuted Matthew had a small role as Randall in the independent romantic comedy Getting In which co-starred Andrew McCarthy and Christy Swanson. As we all know, 1994 was the big year where Matthew's life and career turned a corner and there was simply no looking back. Friends was a juggernaut success and inevitably turned Matthew and his talented co-stars into big screen movie stars. But that's another story for another day. Rest in peace, Matthew, and thanks to a mighty output of film and TV work, may your legacy live on. It's been an absolute pleasure, guys. Until next time, this is Retro Man, living the dream, 80s style. Stay gold.